All right, welcome everybody back to another episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. Sorry about not uploading the past two days. We will, however, continue the series off where we left off, which is on Kuzumbo. Okay, so we're going to start off with Warrior's Blessing into... Maybe I want to go into Boots. Yeah, let's go into Boots against Honor because mobility is very important. Yeah, a lot of times on Kuzbo you can start with Mage's Blessing into Bancrofts or two, Tier 2 Bancrofts. But against on her, I, I think the mobility is more important because he has slows and, you know, positionings everything. What is that emote? Whoa, okay. I've never seen that emote before. I maybe shouldn't have double upgraded my 3, but I did. So, if he's not expecting it, maybe I can get some free damage. I'm pretty sure he is. <laughs> He's definitely expecting it. So I'm not going to be able to get my push off the wave. Ow. I'm getting him to waste his mana at least. He's already down to half mana. He does have potions though. I went to Chalice that wave. You know, Chalices are almost always cost effective. No matter when you get them. The health chalice anyways mainly just because you know each potion how much is it 250 health 250 health you know times three that's a lot of health 750 that's, that's like how much health you have at the start of the game if you're able to heal that all back up over the course of however much time it's usually worth it and you just recall to get those potions back for free rather than having to buy them again okay I really want to get a push off the wave, but I can't. He's level 5. I wonder if he might ult this wave. Okay, I push him through some minions. That's good. Might I just ult him and the wave here? Good pillar from him. That actually stopped so much of my damage. That actually stopped so much of my damage. That's unfortunate. Would have been able to clear the wave with that alt plus get some damage on him, but he blocked like two or three ticks of it. <laughs> I don't even think he intentionally meant to do that, but oh well. Interesting that he went Hunter's Blessing instead of Attacker's Blessing. One thing that kind of sucks with Warrior's Blessing is that when I use my two on camps, I actually mitigate all the damage the minis do, so it won't lower the cooldown for my other abilities because I'm not actually taking damage. It kind of sucks, but it's not that bad. Because I guess my two reflects after Warrior's Blessing. I'm pretty sure it's before mitigations. Just Warrior's Blessing is different, I guess. Like the... The flat damage reduction. Yeah, this is definitely a Demian fight. Oof. Alright, time to go back again. There's nothing up. No reason to stay except for minis. And that's not really a good reason to die for. Start working towards a Demian or Breastplate. Breastplate, I get my abilities back more often. Or back faster, kind of like my two. Your middle tower is under Can reflect a lot more damage to him. However, Nemean reflects his physical damage. We are a magical character, so I'm probably going to want to go towards that. There's only a five protection difference in Nemean and Breastplate. Nemean's cheaper, though. The new item's also not that great on Kuzumo, in case anyone's wondering. Like, you can do double thorns, but it's not amazing. Ooh, good. good position from him. I might need to still build into a Bancroft. Yeah, if I didn't have my boots, he'd be just auto move like crazy. If I rushed my Bancroft, I'm glad I didn't. I still want Bancroft maybe like towards mid or late game. But it's good that I didn't rush it. It would put me very far behind. Okay. Good. Pushing him out. 
Did I? Oh. Did I try to push him? Oh, never mind. Used his. Used his beads. That's fine. I was gonna ult and then tr like get behind him and push him into the wave, but since he uses beads, I couldn't do that, which is fine. I got beads and ult, and I get to push some minions. Minions in. Use my two for cooldowns, so I can get my mana out faster. Okay, good. Let's see if I can take red buff. Or is he already down? It's already down. He had red buff. My bad. Yeah, I'm recording this. Uh, not like crazy early, but I did just wake up. So, <laughs> my thoughts are not all there yet. He's a very low power build right now. So, I can be an executioner. That's pretty early to get executioner. Okay, I have my cooldowns back. I don't think he realizes that. Ooh, if I hit that, I could have killed him. Could have vaulted into my three. If he, I'm okay with him backing here. Go ahead and back. Because now I get red buff. I love when red buff is up. Because then people will actually stay longer than they should. Myself included. But that's that's what forces a lot of these fights. Nope. Okay, he's just going to give it up. Alright. That's fine. We're, we're taking back the lead. There's a good triple bounce with Kuzbo right there. Same as Hoi. It's not as good of clear as Hoi, but... Actually, you know what? Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. They changed... They changed Hoi's bounce so that... the Whenever it bounces off the walls, it only increases the damage for enemy gods now, doesn't it? So... That means that when Hoi does the whole triple bouncing, each bounce doing the same amount of damage, Kuzumos might actually do more damage. I'll have to look into that. Does Kuzumo have better clear on red buff than Hoi now? I don't know. That was a change a while ago, but I, I don't think about these things too much. Like his clear versus Kuzumo. Yeah, the triple bounce thing is only good against gods now. All right. Staying pretty far back. Fair enough. Pretty smart. Yeah, I should have just used that clear the wave. Tried to get some poke on him. Didn't work out. Try to push him into the wave. Oh, I missed. That sucks. It's fine. I was about to recall anyways. So, I used my ultimate, but... It'll almost it'll almost be up when I come back. It's not too bad. Getting him in. Oh, he got Aussie. Okay, well, I could rush a divine rune. Also, I love this new item, Contagion. It's not like always a must pick up, but in a lot of situations where people have double life still or they have healing plus life still, it's a it's a nice item. Because before, if someone went triple lifesteal, right, and I was not an auto-attack guardian at all, like Kuzumo, for example, right, I could only really get Divine Ruin effectively, and that's just not enough anti-heal. I'd be forced <laughs> into a Toxic Blade when I don't want it. But now I can get Contagion plus Divine Ruin, which is, you know, good amount of anti-heal. He's playing very far back. I can kind of just let my Nemean do its work. It's hitting him pretty hard. Already 172 damage from that. Just down a wave, get my one back. Throw a Nene. Chrono spend is always fun on Kuzumo though, so I might still be tempted to get that. Okay, red buffs up again. Is he gonna let me have it? Yes. It looks like he's trying to minimize his loss. So every time I go for red buff, he goes for his blue buff. So I am... Oh, no, no, no. He came back for it. Okay. Hey, that's good for me because now I might be able to take his blue buff too. <laughs> I was just talking about how you're minimizing loss. But I guess not. Because now I might be able to take his blue buff as well. 
Yeah, because if he takes his blue buff every time I take red, then I can't take his blue buff. So he's only I'm only getting one buff ahead at a time, but now I can get more buffs ahead. Nice. That's good for me. Do I jump over this wall? Ooh, he got it. That's fine. I can box him. I can't box him. I could almost box him. Ooh, if I could push him through those those minions, that'd be so nice. Okay, he has his Aussie. Really need to dodge this impale. Really need to No, he's just in life still up. Okay, well, now I got a clear wave. It's not about killing him anymore. Now I got a clear wave. We are definitely getting Divine Run before any other sort of pen. Okay. That's unfortunate I didn't get his blue buff. I got the timer, but now he stole my blue as well. Thorns, of course. Of course, of course. Okay. Now we're going to start working towards Obsidian, maybe Spear. Spear's not that great on Ku's boat. It depends. Now that he's actually fighting me, I can see how these fights are going. If it seems like I'm able to consistently apply damage, then Spear. If not, then Obsidian. Spear usually gives more damage to your opponent and to objectives. But if it's if it's more of a poke fight, then Obsidian's better because if I'm throwing out Nene's like off the wall and stuff, right? There's gonna be no stacks of spear applied, so I won't really have pen. But if it's a constant fight, then spear is constantly applying, so they have less protections and it's just more pen than obsidian. Unless of course he goes like triple defense or double defense. Get the the triple minion there. Always worth. Does so much damage. He's gonna jump. That's fine. I'm pretty tanky, so I can kinda kinda do whatever I want right now. Red buff's about to come up again. Would love to take that. By the way, also I just want to point out, since I don't have Bancrofts, th these chalice like this chalice is helping me so much. It is helping me so, so much. Okay, he's actually kind of in trouble here. Oh no, you hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see activate thorns right after his ultimate was being fired. So he could have like turned his camera 180 or something like that. But there was a little hope for him. Alright, good kill. We are 13 minutes in this game and still no tower. That's Kuzumbo for you. Hopefully we can get Polly. Otherwise it's going to be the same story for Phoenix. And he's already back alive. Respawn towers are a little bit strange sometimes. At least I was able to get something. I'd go after his blue buff, but he's, he's actually starting to hurt quite a bit. So let's not do that. My blue is still down apparently. Should be up when I come back. Obsidian safer. I don't think divine. I don't think Spear of the Magus is the play. I'll go Spear of the Magus against like melee gods a lot on Kuzbo because then I can I can put I'm, I'm like constantly pushing them through the wave right. And that's three ticks of damage. But against on her, I'm not really pushing him that much. So it's only Nene's, and by the time I throw another Nene, the stacks have already like dissipated. Okay, he took that. Did he take my blue buff too? That'd be a big brain play. No? Okay. We're not ahead by that much, but Kuzumbo late game is strong, okay? Because I can just walk into wave and I can get a bunch of, bunch of my abilities up, like instantly. Like I don't even have, I only have 10% cooldown. And I can just use my one, two, and use my one again. Okay, now my one's up again.
How much is Nimeon doing? 224? Nice. Divine Ruin's helping quite a bit against that RC. Oh, missed. That sucks. So much for applying Divine Ruin. If I ult and push him through archers, I can get him down to like a quarter health. If he lets me do that, which he's not going to. Okay, well, I got his beads. We can take tower here if he recalls. I'm surprised he didn't try to... Is he going to ult the wave? A lot of times you'll see on her ult the wave when they, they're forced to back in a bad position. And it's kind of it's kind of a meme that on her alts wave, but at the same time it's a good strategy because they buffed on her alt, so it has very very little cooldown. So why not alt the wave, right? Why not? Okay, I think I can go for a double defense here and go for contagion. I can go for breastplate. Let's go for a breastplate, and then poly last time. The nice thing about double defense against against hunters is that I'm pretty sure I'm like pretty 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 sure that my two applies before mitigation. So if he hits me, it reflects you know whatever percent damage I take, and then the mitigations apply. So sometimes if you have enough defense, you're actually taking less damage than they're dealing. Or I'm sorry, you're uh you're dealing more damage than than you're taking. Just by them hitting, you know. And I know Nemean works like that, but I just I'm pretty sure about Kuzbo Thorns. Not harm set. Oh, the pillar block. That was actually really good. That was actually really good. Could have killed him, dang. Okay. He's healing so much with that Aussie. It's kind of a shame. Dang. Okay. Well, now. I well, now he's going to heal up all of his health back up. So, let's just try and take this before he gets enough health to fight us. Alright, good. I knew he was going to heal up back to, like, full health off the wave. So, before he had enough time to heal up, I just wanted to rush down red buff. Couldn't take it, but maybe I could take it when I go back. And now we have cooldown. We have 30% cooldown. I think fights are going to change drastically now. Just being able to have my thorns up more often. Or what are they called? Spike shells? Shell spikes. Okay. Oh, wait. We got to pick this up. Oh, no. Okay, well. <laughs> I might have been able to pick that up. I don't know. My thoughts go like a million miles per hour when doing these, these guarding outlets sometimes. And I forget what I was doing. I might have been able to get red buff. That kind of sucks. I know that that's a thing that happens all the time. I don't pick up red. Like, there I didn't pick up red because, <laughs> you know, I couldn't. I would have died. And then when I was coming back from base, I probably could have. But just thinking about other things. Find Divine Rune. That's good from him. Oh, I should have vaulted. I was trying to. I wanted to alt for the immunity, but didn't get to. All right, this is annoying. Oh, I should have tried to bounce it. I should have bounced it. Wait, hold on. If I walk into wave, no. He's recalling. Oh, dang man. This is like. Ah, oh, this is pretty annoying. Sucks I'm getting some of these kills and some of them are no, getting away. Alright. I need a Polynomicon. That way I can at least take Bull Demon or something. So no Bancrofts after all. Do you not is he going to a Chin Size? Chin Size is actually pretty decent against Nemean because, uh, like, if you auto attack someone with Nemean, it reflects the auto attack damage. It does not reflect the, the Chin Size damage. So it's a way of making your auto attacks hurt harder without punishing yourself. However, if they haven't built into health, it's not going to be that great. But, you know, Kuzbo base health, I have 2400 health. Thorns does... My spike shells does not apply Divine Rune, by the way. 
I know some people think it does. It does not at all. This is a bad fight. Dang. I'm dead. It sucks that I'm having to take all these fights in this Phoenix. I thought if I ulted and push him through three minions, I would do way more damage, but apparently not. Yeah, look at that chin size, 402. Not mitigating a great amount of it. Oh, if I could get at least two of these fights on my side of the map, that'd be pretty cool. Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, let's get some wards. I know those wards are still up, but they're going to expire. Might need to go for a bull demon. Or at least bait him at bull demon. Baiting at bull demon doesn't always work, though. Just because, you know, if the second he realizes I'm baiting, he leaps away, I get near him, he pushes me away, I get near him again, he slows me, you know? On her so good at keeping that, di that distance. Did he take this? Oh, that's rough. Okay. I could try holding the wave. There's no really, there's no real point at this, at this like point in time, other than just getting my speed potion online and kind of delaying his. But that's not fun to watch, so we're not gonna do that. Okay. Nice, good. He thought he thought he could take the kill. Did he go Atlanta's bow? Oh my god. He went Atlanta's bow. Now, if we weren't so close to each other, Atlanta's could actually kind of work. It's like a, it's like a, a discount haste and fatalis. You know, not as good as haste and fatalis, but not necessarily bad either. Did my nanny not kill those minions? Okay. Don't you love it when? You take minion aggro rather than your minions. It's amazing. Please let me take this. Gotta use them poly shots. Okay. Time to run. Time to run. If I don't get out here, we could lose. He And he's going double life still. So, I can switch one of my items for contagion. <laughs> I could go a toxic blade. Uh, now here's the thing. Breastplate's not that good to change. Nemean's not that good to change. My boots, I could, but then I'd go be going triple defense, and that's a little bit too, too messed up for me. So how about we switch our breastplate for Contagion? Alright. And we'll save up for our, our potion now. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him go double life still so easily. Alright, play some wards in case he tries to sneak a bull demon or something. You know, for lost games due to that. One thing that I hate is late game, let's say if they're Phoenix sitting, right? Bull demon gets so much health, because the longer the game goes on, the more health bull demon gets. That if I go for bull demon, sometimes they'll just rush my Phoenix and Titan and win the game. Kind of sucks that bull demon gets so tanky. Gets tankier than Titan, which is kind of dumb. Oh, he's not going to fight me. Okay. Blood Forge. Oh, I thought maybe he was going for a late Devos. Blood Forge is actually not that bad of an item. 75 power is quite a bit. Yeah, it hurts. Ow. Okay, we gotta run here. Turn it around. Pop my thorns. Nope. I thought I could get a poly shot there. Well, he hurts big time now. Alright, let's sell boots for speed potion. What else can I buy? I can buy a tier 2 item. There's shaman's ring. There's... Could go rod. Kronos pennant? Oh, Kronos pennant. Kronos pennant. Could be good. He didn't get my phoenix off that? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Dang, man. Don't tell me he wins off that. Four, three, two, 
Oh my god, the new Titan sucks. Holy moly. Oh my god, dude. This new Titan sucks. Wow, he won that off of one kill? Oh, well, that's incredibly frustrating. I hate that the new Titan's so squishy. I like that it does less damage, but the fact that it's so squishy, what? What? Like, I, he killed me on the other side of the map while my Phoenix was full health. And he won off of that? I had a four second respawn timer with, before he even entered the Titan room. <sighs> Alright, GG, I guess.